Hi everyone. You all know that human body it is composed of millions of cells. And these millions of cells they function in a coordinated manner. A lot of things are to be transported to and from the cells and it is perfectly done by a connective tissue called blood. This blood performs same function in all individuals. Its structure is same, its components is same. Still, still there are different types of blood group among us. In this session, we will see what is the reason behind the occurrence of these various type of blood groups and how the information it is transferred from parents to offsprings. So, there are different types of blood grouping system in human beings. ABO system, then RH system, MN system, etc. etc. There are more than 30 different types of blood group systems in human beings. And the ABO blood group system, this is the most widely used and most popular among all these blood group systems. And this system, it was discovered by Carl Landsteiner and he got Nobel Prize for this discovery. So, this ABO blood group system, it is determined by the presence of antigens or its absence on the surface of RBC and these antigens are nothing but sugar molecules and see these are the various blood groups of ABO system it is it can be A, it can be B, it can be AB or it can be O and the antigens the corresponding antigens on the surface of this this type of blood group it is for A blood group it is A antigen then for B blood group it is B antigen then for AB group it is AB antigen and for O group there is no antigen at all. Then the presence and absence of these antigens and antibodies, it is very well explained by Landsteiner's law. If an antigen it is present on the surface of RBC, the corresponding antigen, sorry, the corresponding antibody, it will be absent in the plasma. And if an antigen is absent, then the corresponding antigen antibody will be present in the plasma. Say for example, if the blood group is A, then as we have already seen, the antigen present on the surface of RBC, it will be A only. But the antibody, the antibody which is present in the plasma should be anti B antibody. If that blood is having anti A antibody, then the A antigen and anti A antibody will result in agglutination of the blood. So, blood group A should have only anti B antibody in the plasma. Then, similarly, blood group B it is having B antigen and it is having anti A antibody in the plasma. See, uh, blood group A is having antigen A on the RBC, B is having B antigen, AB is having AB and O is having no antigen and the corresponding antibody present on present in the plasma for A and D antigen, it should be A and D B or blood group B will be having anti A and AB will be having no antibody. As it is having both the antigens, there should not be any antibody in the 
plasma. Otherwise, that will result in agglutination of the blood. And see, all blood group, all blood group, it can be uh, called as zero also because there is no antigen. There is no antigen on the RBC. So it can have both the antibodies and hence uh, blood group O will be having both the antibodies and the A and and the B. Now we will see the genetics, the genetics behind the ABO blood group system. So this uh, blood grouping, it is determined by or it is controlled by a gene present in chromosome number 9. It is an autosomal gene. And the various forms, the alleles, the alleles of these genes are represented by the letter I, I for isoagglutinogen. And inheritance of blood group uh, system, ABO blood group system, it is showing multiple allelism. Multiple allelism means the presence of more than two alleles for a particular gene. Normally, uh, an individual will be having only two alleles for a particular gene, but that gene may have more than two alleles. Then any of these two alleles can be present in one individual. Such a condition, it is known as multiple allelism. That is the presence of more than two alleles for a particular gene. And blood group system, that is ABO blood group system, it is showing multiple allelism. And the various alleles for this particular gene, it is IA, IB and I0. Now, how these alleles, they control blood group of human beings. Each and every allele, they will produce an enzyme or they will code for an enzyme called glycosyl transferases. The function of this glycosyl transferase is that it will add a sugar molecule to the end of a carbohydrate. And this last sugar molecule, it determines the antigenic property or which antigen should be present on the RBC. So, indirectly this enzyme, it determines the blood group of an individual. And the allele, we have seen that the uh, blood group system, it uh, is determined by multiple allelism and the various alleles are IA, IB and I, IO. IA codes for A antigen. So that means if IA allele is present in the individual, then it will produce A antigen and the blood group will be A. Similarly, IB, it codes for B antigen. Then I0, it codes no antigen. So if this particular allele is present in an individual, it will not produce any antigen. Then IA and IB are dominant over I0. If IA and I0 is present, an individual can have two alleles. So if IA and I0 it is present in an individual, IA will be dominant. That means antigen A will be produced. Similarly, if IB and I0 are present, then IB will be dominant and it will produce B antigen. So, IA and IB are dominant over I0. And if IA and IB are present, both IA and IB are dominant and if both these alleles are present in an individual, then both of these alleles will be expressed. That means antigen A and antigen B will be produced and hence the blood group will be AB. Then we will see the genotype of an individual and their blood group. If the genotype 
it is IA and IB. Obviously, it is A blood group because there is no other uh, alleles for this particular gene here. It is having only IA and IA only. So, antigen A will be produced and the blood group will be A. Similarly, IB, IB will result in B blood group. Then if IA and I0 is present, then again the blood group will be A because I0 is not producing any antigen. And similarly, IB and I0, it will produce B blood group. Then if IA and IB elements are present, then the blood group will be AB. As already told, these two alleles are dominant. So, if both these alleles are present, then both of these alleles will uh, produce their corresponding antigens and IA will produce IA antigen and IB will produce B antigen. So, this blood will contain both these antigens and the blood group will be AB. Then, if the condition is I0, I0, then definitely the blood group should be O because I0 cannot produce any antigen. Okay, now let us discuss about a situation. Parents with A and B groups, A and B blood groups, can they have children with O group? Let us see. One parent with blood group A and the genotype will be IA, IA or IA, I0. It can be any of these two. Then the other parent is of B blood group and the genotype can be IB, IB or IB, I0. And we are taking the second one that is IA I0 from this parent and IB I0 from the other parent. These are the gametes which are produced by these two parents. The first parent will produce two different types of gametes that is IA gametes with IA allele and gametes with I0 allele. The second parent will produce gametes with IB and I0 alleles and these are these are the possibilities possibilities means uh, these are the different types of blood groups that their offsprings can have if IA allele combines with IB then the phenotype will be AB blood group that is their genotype it is IA and IB and the blood group will be AB and if I0 combines with IB then the blood group will be B and if IA combines with I0 then the blood group will be I I mean uh, the uh, blood group will be A and finally if I0 of one parent the gamete with I0 allele of one parent and I0 allele of the other parent if they combine together then you will get O group. So it is very clear that parents with A and B blood group can have children with O group. Okay, this slide shows the inheritance of blood group from parents to offsprings. All the possibilities, all the possibilities can be seen here. If the blood group of mother it is A and the blood group of father is B. Blood group of mother is A and the blood group of father is B. Then they can have offsprings with all types of blood group. They can have children with A blood group or B blood group or AB blood group or O. All possibilities. They can have children with any of these type of blood groups. Similarly, if 
the mother's blood group is B and father's blood group is A, then also all the four possibilities are there. Then if the blood group of mother is O and the blood group of father is also O, then the blood group of the offspring will be O only. So, O blood group is produced from parents with O group only in order to produce or in order to have a child with O group both the parents should be of O group. So, if you know the basis of blood group inheritance, then you can very well explain the possibilities or the different uh, phenotypes or different blood groups of offsprings, even if, even if the parents uh, are not having any such character that is shown in the case of the blood group of O. Neither of these parents, they are of O blood group, but the offspring can be with O blood group. So that's about the inheritance of blood group in human beings. Thank you.